The airplane took off just before 3.58 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The flight had a routine initial takeoff, although the pilots did not perform a formal challenge response checklist. After rotation, the captain, the flying pilot, called for yaw damper activation and turned the airplane to the assigned heading. The captain made the comment that he was fighting the controls. For a second time, he said that he was fighting the controls. Then a third time, the captain stated that he was fighting the controls and the first officer asked about trim settings. Note that these initial comments do not state the nature of the control problem. The captain stated that the airplane wanted to turn left hard and the first officer again inquired about trim. During this portion of the flight, the airplane continued to climb and remained on the assigned heading. The captain said that there was something wrong with the rudder trim. Again, the captain said that there was a problem with the rudder of the airplane, but he did not know the reason. The first officer responded, saying, How's that? Any better? The captain reiterated that there was a trim problem. The captain said that the airplane was rolling and asked for help. The captain then instructed the first officer to pull the autopilot circuit breaker and the first officer responded, where is it? Here the airplane had leveled off and its airspeed was about 270 knots. During this portion of the flight, the airplane was in a descending left turn back toward the airport. The airspeed remained about 250 knots. The captain told air traffic control that he did not know what was wrong with the airplane. The captain relinquished control of the airplane to the first officer. Shortly thereafter, the airplane crashed into the lake. 